Hi, I'm Mike Wong. And I'm John Kimball. And we are back at Rockwest Composites to talk about prepreg material today. So John, what exactly is prepreg? Prepreg is pretty simple. It's a dry fabric that has a resin impregnated into it. The resin is semi-cured, so it's sticky, but it's not wet. With prepreg, we want to always wear gloves for two reasons. One, we don't want to contaminate the material with the oils from our skin, and we don't want to get epoxy sensitivity from handling the epoxies. Basically, so, break out with an allergic reaction? Correct. Gloves it is. Now, I've noticed a lot of people like to use prepreg, so it's, everything's kind of in there already. Right. The beauty of prepreg is that it is very controlled as far as resin content is concerned. Okay. And so you get the optimal amount of resin. What so we got, we got two carbon fibers. One is a unidirectional carbon fiber, which means all of the fibers run in one direction. This is a woven which means that the fibers run in two directions. And we also have fiberglass. Fiberglass is white in color, but it's a woven as well. We've taken the liberty of prepping our plate already. We're just ready to start laying up our part. First one we're gonna do is we're gonna lay up the unidirectional. Unidirectional is a little bit fragile because it will tear down that line pretty easily. We lay it face down first and we try to get it stuck down to the surface the best we can. We get this first ply peeling up. And if you pull from the side this way, the chances of it tearing are increased. And so I kind of pull on a 45. In this case, we are trying to create a laminate that is stiffer in one direction than it is the other. 60% of our plies are gonna be going in the zero direction and the other 40% are going in the 90 direction. Okay. So our first two plies we're gonna put down are in the zero direction. We wanna make sure that the angles are the same. We line up the plies and we push it down. It's important to get as much air out as possible. Even though we will be vacuum bagging this, we want to remove as much air as we can while we're laying up. gonna lay up a basic um, woven fabric. Fabrics are a little bit more interesting. You can't flip them upside down like this. If you lay it up like this, you have to lay up every ply like that because if you flip it upside down, you can cause warping. It has a backer material just like the unidirectional, but it also has a material on the front and we have to remember to take it off because gotcha. if we don't take it off and you won't get the bonding between the plies. That makes sense. Paper side down will be our rule of thumb. And it just peels off like that. So now we're going to get to the vacuum bagging. We have a few different materials that we use. First one we do is pill ply. Okay, what that does is it gives you a textured surface that you can bond to. And kind of just make sure yep, it's smooth. Just make sure it's smooth because that will introduce wrinkles if we don't. We have a release film. This release film is actually perforated. You can actually see little tiny holes in there because yep. it allows the air to escape. Next is the breather cloth. All right. This is ready to go. We need to put a vacuum bag on it. We have our coupler. Okay. This will go in the bag. This goes through the top of the bag. Always like to put a piece of breather material under that. Uh -huh. Pre-cut this. We can take our gloves off now, which will make it easier. So you line your bag up and then you can fold it back and we'll start on one edge. Just laying it down flat. So do the one edge, do then the do one the opposite edge, edge. Then do the opposite edge, and then the sides. We'll stretch it down. I'd like to point out that the positioning of this unit here needs to be off of the part. If you put it on the part, you can cause damage. To Important if, part of the part. Right. Don't have it on the part. <laughs> right. All we need to do is pierce this and put our fitting on it. Make sure the bag is stretched tight. We got our vacuum. We'll let you hook that up. All we'll right. turn it on. Good Just hold it, hold it up until it sucks down. Oh yeah. Oh. Look at that. Here a little bit of a leak, leak there. there. Check for leaks other places in the corners especially. Don't hear anything. The bag looks pretty good. And this is where I like to take this and crank it down one more time just to make sure that it's got a good seal. That's all there is to bagging. Well, thanks, John. Yeah.